in this week's Torah portion, we have the juxtaposition of two tremendously powerful Torah portions, each of which has a lesson for us to glean during this time of darkness, stress, and duress in the world. The first is the story of Noah. As God decides to wipe all evil from the earth, Noah is selected to be the vessel for change, the vessel to save humanity and start anew. That Torah portion is immediately followed by the story of the Tower of Babel, where human hubris and the uh, audacity of human beings to believe that they can be like God teaches us a completely different lesson as God spreads humanity all over the world creating a variety of cultures and languages. These two portions together are a powerful message for us today. For we, the Jewish people, are in the midst of a struggle, a war against evil. We must wipe evil from the face of the earth. And at the same time, we need to recognize our humility. We need to recognize that we are not God, that we are not the judges of absolute truth, that we have the responsibility to wipe evil from the earth, but also recognize the humanity in everyone. Last week, we played a kickball game, Jews, Muslims, Christians, we came together in friendly competition. And at the end of that amazing afternoon of uh, kickball, we sang a song turning our thoughts to God. The word hallelujah offers praise to God. We weren't praising God for what we have uh, in this world today, but we were praising God for what we share as human beings, love, fellowship, community. As I end this lesson for today, I leave you with the song we sang. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.